Welcome to this video. Today we'll go over how Wave decimates data when you're looking at uh, a large number of points on your graph. Um, and so by default, um, Wave decimates data. There's no way currently to turn this feature off, but as you zoom, you'll be able to see more of your data. Um, and so let's go ahead and take a look at what that's like in Wave. So we'll start out by loading a DTEC file. Um, this is their fast data. Um, and so once it gets loaded into Wave, I'll click on the load button to add a couple of channels to my graph. So we'll add string speed and shaft world angle. Um, and then I'll go ahead and exit. And so we've, we've seen these two sections of data. And so I'm going to focus on the second section that has a lot more data. So we'll use our zooming tool to zoom along the x-axis. And so if I click the area of interest and then drag, we'll see that as I'm zooming in, we see um, a couple more points show up. And so the zoom area is limited to about 10,000 points. Um, and so if I zoom into a smaller section, you'll see that the profile of the points changes just, um, just a little bit. And so then you'll see a lot more points. And so um, you'll get to a point where as you're zooming in, you no longer have more than 10,000 points. So there's no sort of data decimation going on. Um, and so in my last zoom that I just showed, there was no change in how the data is displayed on the graph because we've already um, decreased the number of points we're viewing to below 10,000. Um, and so um, just as um, um, an FYI, uh, the decimation that's happening, it's, it's taking your min and max values and plotting them instead of the actual raw values. Um, and so that's how Wave's data decimation works. 